I talked to Drew about this. Lucci refused to cooperate against Young Thug. Right. And it was just, I talked to him about that. He just was like, you know, my client wants to not cooperate. We're not going to cooperate. That's it. I didn't try to talk him into whatever. He don't want to cooperate. We're done. I, I made it very clear to the prosecution that my client is not looking for any type of cooperation deal. He's not snitching. He's not doing anything of that sort. There's, there's the only deal that you have seen is the deal that was publicly filed that he said no to and how we ultimately resolve the case, um, which under Georgia parole guidelines makes him potentially eligible and now less than three months. Um, and other than that, that's that. Um, we've been very clear publicly, which was very important to Ray, um, that everybody be well aware of the fact that he's not testifying in any case. Um, and I think I've said before, you know, he wouldn't even testify in a traffic ticket. So he's not gonna testify in another courtroom. He wants to be as far from courtrooms as possible. He sat through over two weeks of jury selection. I know it's enough to burn out most people. Um, and, and he's one of them. And look, even without cooperating, he still got a hell of a deal. Remember a I said this in the interview? Yeah. Most of the time when you don't talk, you won't. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. And the, the fact that he was stabbed by someone affiliated with YSL and still would not cooperate against YSL, because most people would look that as a reason. Well, I wasn't going to cooperate, but then they stabbed me. So, you know, I did what I had to do. You know how many people I, I interviewed from the mafia who have a reason kind of like that? I was going to cooperate, but then I heard a tape of John Gotti talking about me, so I cooperated against 20 people. Nah, they just rats. They just, they just... Hey, you just make an excuse. You knew you was going to rat. You just had to find the excuse. Yeah. If that wasn't the excuse, they'd use a bitch. <laughs> yeah. He fucked my wife. He yeah. fucked my cousin. Yeah. He touched my underage daughter. That's what they use, bitches. Yeah. This, this, I know the streets like the back of my hand. Right. They use bitches to betray, but to betray others. It's been going on since the early Roman days. Yeah. That's what they do. If it ain't a nigga, they gonna use a bitch. Mm -hmm. Try to co coincide that with, with the Bible and shit. <laughs> You're not supposed to touch a man's wife, so I'm gonna turn a fucking snitch. <laughs> they been doing it from the mafia on fucking down. Yeah. That's what they been, they been yeah. doing. Now, I've interviewed these guys, so, so I'm fully familiar, man. But listen, I, I can't wait. I already talked to Lucci's uh, manager. I'm like, yo, I want that first interview. You know, I fuck with Lucci. Me yeah. and him have had multiple interviews. You know, I've always been cool with that label from rich homie Quan to everyone else, man. Right. Like, I think I did Quan's first interview, actually. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Fly? Uh, yeah. Uh, to, to Trinidad James. I'm the one that helped okay. break that music video I put on my YouTube channel and it blew up. So yeah. I, I've been, you know, YSL, I don't know. I don't know anyone from YSL. But YFN and, and that whole label, yeah, I, I rock with them, man. So I was really happy when I heard that news. Yeah, Fly, Fly, Fly yeah. was there every step of the way. Bro. Yeah, yeah, I love Fly. Every man. time I walked in that courtroom. Solid. Every time I walked in a prayer, we had prayer for Lucha, every mm -hmm. Fly there, bro. And I, yeah. You know what I mean? Solid dude. Man. I, I was 